I actually didn't realize it's hard to train your dog to run with you. You, know, you see people walking their dog down the street all the time. Uh, but if you're visually impaired and you use a guide dog, obviously you rely on that animal to help you get around. And what this man did is absolutely incredible, training his dog to run a marathon with him. I thought it was interesting that I had to check his paws every two miles. I know when Brian ran his marathon, uh, they didn't check on him until he, like, he got to the finish line. One stride at a time. Tom Panic and his guide dog Gus inch closer to their goal. Oh boy, guys. The two have been training in local parks like this for over three years, with the hopes of competing in an officially sanctioned long distance race. It's never been done before. I've been running my whole life. I ran on my cross country team in high school, and I ran as a young adult. Good girl. Panic is the CEO of Guiding Eyes for the Blind. Ready? a nonprofit program that provides guide dogs and services at no cost to the blind community. He lost his sight 25 years ago, and with it, his independence. When you lost your sight, did you keep running? No. When I lost my sight, I was too scared to run. As he adjusted to his blindness, he began running with a human guide, but it wasn't the same. Panic still lacked the independence he once had. Although many people run with running clubs, at the end of the day, you're running your own race. And when you're tied to another person, it's no longer your own race. The independence isn't quite there. Good job, forward. We first caught up with Panic two years ago when he became the CEO of Guiding Eyes for the Blind. The idea of a running guide program was first suggested by former Marine Richard Hunter, who was blind and looking to get back into running. The two met at the Boston Marathon in 2015. Richard shouted out, I'm really curious, uh, have you ever trained a guide dog to run? And I said, I don't know, it hasn't been done. A few months and intense training sessions later, the running guide program was born. Panic and a small team helped train Klinger, a German Shepherd, to aid Richard with running. Baseline skill set for a guide dog and running dog are the same. They're looking for overhead obstacles and making sure that the person who's blind like me remains safe as we're mobile. He formed a team of experts to train a small group of dogs, mostly Labrador retrievers and German shepherds, to run long distances. The dogs began their training at 18 months old, and it's an exclusive club. Out of 165 graduate dogs, only an estimated 12 are considered race ready. Ben Cauley manages the Guiding Eyes running program just 40 miles north of New York City. He works with a small team of trainers every day on over 300 distinct skills that include endurance, agility, and awareness. But the team's ultimate test would be a five-mile race through New York's Central Park just one week before the New York City Marathon. It was Panics and Gus's first competitive race. Before the race, Panic was overcome with emotion, wiping away his tears of appreciation to the dog who gave him his independence back. Once the race began, it was like a walk in the park, complete with their own cheering section. Every two miles, the duo made a precautionary pit stop, giving Gus a needed water break and getting his pulse and paws checked by a vet. Despite the unforgiving weather and hordes of runners, the team finished right, strong. Crossing that finish line, you know, it's, uh, it was a momentous occasion for me. The bond between runner and man's best friend grows. We did it together, I guess. <laughs> One stride at a time. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Do you know why it's hard for a dog to run long distances, Bradford? Hip dysplasia? No, uh, no, not everyone's like you. <laughs> they can't sweat. They only sweat through their mouth, and so they actually, their body oh. heat heats up a little too much. That's actually what big evolutionary trait that uh, humans developed. Ooh, yeah, now you know. Uh, but this is awesome. I love to run. It's like probably my favorite, top three favorite hobbies. And to take that away from somebody is so tough in that they can now train these unbelievable dogs, not only to be guide dogs, but to be guide dogs in groups of people while moving quickly for the blind is just outstanding. I, I love it.